Hey guys, Ivan here, and about 9 weeks out of Mr. Olympia, we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates of the potential top 3, actually, the Mr. Olympia, and we are starting with a little posing video of Samson in which we can see what his back is looking like right now. Now, if you're talking about Samson potentially winning the Mr. Olympia, what would be his flaws? It would be, I guess, his back and his overall conditioning, but particularly conditioning of his lower body from behind, so glutes and hamstrings. I don't know how much will that be improved, but it seems like his back is going to be better. Now, here you can see his posing routine from the Arnold Classic, where he won, and as you can see, he was, he was in good condition overall. I mean, look at those freaking legs. They were super, super round and like very conditioned, very dry, very hard, detailed, the separation was deep. His legs were really conditioned from the front. Uh, I would say he was overall in a pretty good condition. For some reason, he just doesn't have those deep separations in his glutes, but everywhere else he was in decent condition. Could he be sharper? Sure. Would it work in his favor at this point? Probably not. Also hamstrings, pretty detailed, right? He has good hamstrings. It's only glutes, really. And as far as muscularity, yeah, back could be more developed. Right here you can see what his back looked like at the Arnold Classic about 5 or 6 months ago. So as you can see, it could have been bigger. It definitely could have been bigger, and if he was bigger, he would have probably been able, he could afford to suffer more, to lose more fullness and get in, in better condition, and I think he worked on that, I think he's gonna be much bigger this year, Mr. Olympia, and I think his back does look better, I think it does look thicker, it does look improved. Is it gonna be the best back on that stage in that top four? Probably not. But is it gonna be like a horrible big weakness of Samson Daura? I wouldn't say so, I don't think so, this is actually a pretty good back right now. I mean, genetically he doesn't have the most perfectly inserted lats, but what he has to work with, he worked with it properly, like he did gain a lot of thickness through the upper back, uh, through the erectors, he built up those lats as much as he could probably uh, at this point in time, he's gonna get this back even better over time, but right now it doesn't look bad at all. And once again, we are 9 weeks out of Mr. Olympia and he is not really close to being show ready. And the back, it's the kind of muscle group that only looks good when you are shredded. So once he gets completely shredded, and I believe this time around he is going to be more peeled than he was at the Arnold. Every show we see him, he looks bigger and more conditioned. And I think now, in this rebound from the Arnold Classic, he gained more muscle, so he is going to be able to afford to get even more conditioned. And with the improvements that he made in his back, it's gonna be a different story, so I think it's very possible for Samson to win the Mr. Olympia. Look, I know it's not the most realistic scenario for somebody who was 6th last year to win this year, it's more likely uh, for somebody who was 2nd last year to win this year, like Derek Lunsford, who was 2nd, very very close to Hadi Chupan, and he wasn't at his best, he didn't have a full-blown off-season really working on his mass, he, was, he wasn't sure if he was gonna do the 212, he wasn't sure in the end he decided to do the Open, and you know, it turned out to be very very good, but it wasn't him at his best, he is going to be much improved this year, so he's probably probably the favorite to dethrone Hari Chupan if Hari doesn't come in at 100%. It's most likely not going to be Samson. But, guys, in only a couple of months, from the Mr. Olympia to Arnold Classic, Samson managed to leapfrog three bodybuilders in this top six. So at the Mr. Olympia he was sixth, and he did manage to beat Nick Walker. Nick Walker was third at the Mr. Olympia and Samson managed to progress that much and to beat Nick Walker when Nick Walker was on, like he was very conditioned. He thinks that his 2023 Arnold Classic look is his best look. Yeah, he doesn't think that he was flat, maybe he realized that his legs were a little bit down because of that so-called flatness, but he thinks it was his best package because he was super shredded, however, Samson beat him. At that Arnold Classic, he also beat Big Ramy, who beat him at the Mr. Olympia, and considering that Nick Walker beat Brandon Curry at the Mr. Olympia, we can now say that Samson is ahead of Brandon. So Samson is the closest guy to Derek Lunsford, 
And unless Hari brings something insane, these two guys could be your top two. Also, they are both very aesthetic, they don't have guts, they don't have any troubles with that, and that's something that is very much appreciated these days. So I believe this could be your top two. But then, how freaky can Nick Walker show up? How much did he really progress? And in the caption of this photo that he posted, his most recent physique update, he says, keep counting me out, I love that. So yeah, I mean, he could come in looking like an absolute freak and just destroy everybody. That is a possibility. Not the most aesthetic physique, we all know that, but probably the freakiest. And he said in a recent podcast to Jay Cutler that he was 285 at that point with better conditioning than it was last year when he was 273, something like that. So that tells us that he probably gained like 10 pounds of muscle. Is it possible? In theory, well, it shouldn't be, but that's Nick Walker we're talking about. I mean, this guy breaks all the rules, he comes in insane every time we see him, he's just a new bodybuilder. This guy is a legit mutant, and here you can see exactly what he looks like at this point, once again, about 9 weeks out of Mr. Olympia, and he does look very, very freaky, right? I mean, he is humongous right now. I mean, those arms are 24 inches, and they're actually flowing pretty well with that physique, so that means that he is enormous, and also guys, he's 5 foot 7, uh, Ronnie Coleman, I believe his, his arms were, maybe they were 24 inches, like at, at his absolute biggest, but they were usually 23 inches, so, and he was taller, Ronnie was 5 foot 9, Nick is 5 foot 7, that's 2 freaking inches, and Nick has even bigger arms, or let's say the same, let's say they're the same size, but once again, Nick is shorter, so you can you know that his arms are like probably the biggest arms in the history of this sport, of bodybuilding, and here as you can see, they are flowing pretty well, like yeah, they're dominant, but they're not, like they're not completely out of proportion, I mean his shoulders are following the arms, chest as well, legs, yeah, we all know could be bigger, I mean, not really bigger, like, he has very thick legs, but the outer sweep, the lateral head could be, like, more popping, but, like, his legs are big, so, and also his back, we all know he has a great back, especially back double, especially because of those hamstrings that are absolutely insane, so with Nick Walker looking like this, and, like, based on all I'm hearing from him from different podcasts, he is very, very driven, and he gained muscle, and he's just gonna keep progressing, and now that he has a full year with uh, Matt Jensen, like the offseason, the rebound from the Arnold, a rebound from Mr. Olympia, we can expect a much better version, and I hope they're not gonna mess up the fullness, uh, combination of fullness and, and conditioning, I hope his legs are gonna be improved and fuller, and, uh, you know, Nick at 100%, ooh, that's gonna be, that's gonna be tough for anybody, so, once again, probably the most exciting Mr. Olympia that we had in, like, I don't know, since ever, basically. <laughs> I mean, we have no idea who's gonna win. Those four guys, Hardy, Samson, Nick, and Derek, anybody can win. And as you can see right here, Nick looks insane right now. We saw what Samson's back looks like, but here is what Derek Lansford's back <laughs> looks like. And uh, yeah, it's definitely much, much different story. Derek's back is just uh, on another level, another level. Like, I, I think this is probably the best white back since Dorian Yates. And Dorian, maybe he had like more details, probably, he was drier, he had that crazy Christmas tree, he looked super, super hard, we never really saw uh, Derek bring that kind of conditioning with the new fullness that he brings to the open, he was definitely way more shredded in the 212, but I don't think his back was that, that good at that time, I think it just looks overall much better when he's bigger and fuller, I think he made progress, and the fact that he didn't have to make the weight for 212, he was just bigger, and it looks better, and I think with time, as he gains more maturity, it's gonna get as hard probably as Dorian Yates, I hope so, but Dorian... He never had this uh, waist-to-shoulder ratio, he never had this crazy, insane silhouette, I mean, look at how, how small his waist is, and then the way his legs are popping, and the way his shoulders, his lats are popping as well, probably the best white back double bicep in the history of the sport, and it's only going to get much better with time, he's gonna get bigger and thicker and more shredded, 
I can't imagine what this back double is gonna look like in five years. You guys know that Derek is very young, so if he keeps it at this pace, it's gonna be insane. But look at his back right now, once again. Just look at this freaking madness. Look at those freaking lads, how much they're hanging, and like the traps as well, and everything. This is just too much for me, man. This is just, I can't comprehend this. I can't grasp how big this back really is. I mean, look at this. He can do whatever the hell he wants, he can pose whichever way he wants. I mean, when you have lads this big, it can't look bad. Look at this, this is insane, this is incredible. So, yeah, like I said once again, this guy is probably the favorite, let's be honest, to win the Mr. Olympia, but... Yeah, I prefer Samson, I'm biased, yeah, towards him, because he has the height. I prefer taller bodybuilders, but, I mean, I, I can't deny Derek and the way he's looking right now. So, guys, be my guest, tell me in the comment section down below who do you think is going to win the Mr. Olympia, and tell me who do you think actually has better back double bicep, Derek Lance or Dorian Yates? Also, guys, if you want to support me and this channel, you can do that by buying any of those collab supplements, but using the code EVAN, and you get a 50% discount. The link to their website is in the comment section down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you guys so much. All the best and bye-bye. Look at this madness. This is insane. God, what the hell is happening here? Look at this. Crazy. Crazy stuff. I'm out.